Okay, to start off this video, we've just kind of done one of the craziest things ever. We've just taken a taxi up into What's the up clouds, down? into the mountains, to this hotel. Look at this thing. It is covered in fog. Oh my god, dude. dude right? This is the haunted This is insane. This is definitely this is a haunted, haunted place. Yeah. But like, look. Look outside look here. This. Look at the fog. Dude, we took this car here. I think, our, luckily, our taxi is going to come back crazy. for us. Yeah, yeah she cool. said she's gonna wait for us. Yeah. Yeah. Originally, we thought this was abandoned, and from the sound of it, it kind of sounds like they're working Just on look it. At the clouds around the Doesn't it sound clouds. like they're doing construction? A little bit. I mean, there's a con there's a car this here. Is so. There's, it says Amber Court Res look. Restaurant right there. And look, listen. You can hear like construction at the top. This is probably the most haunted, creepy place we've been to. <laughs> I'm pumped. Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're in the Genting Highlands of Malaysia. And we're not actually at the casino like many of you recommended. We're actually at Amber Course, which was an abandoned, we thought abandoned, hotel or apartment complex. It still might be, but we're not completely sure. It looks like there's people living here. We're gonna go find out. But the only history we have on this place is that it was once a farm, a mushroom farm, back in the day. And then in the 1940s, Japanese soldiers came and slaughtered and did terrible things to the villagers here. So it was a burial ground for all of the natives. because from the outside it looks very abandoned and we had locals actually tell us it was abandoned and other people told us it was like haunted and there was a ghost and stuff. We're about to go check it out because it looks like it's not and uh, we're here to find out what it's like. Oh I think I'm gonna feel like Dan Bell with this one. It's not an abandoned place but we're just kind of walking around a creepy kind of dirty place. Look at this. Look at these fish. They have a convenience store in here, as well as a phone plan place, and another convenience store. This place is definitely not abandoned, but everything we read online made it seem like it was abandoned because all the reviews were terrible and they had like a review from like a month ago and that was the last one. So I thought it was abandoned. <laughs> Clearly not, but it seems kind of kind of weird and eerie as well, like under construction Yo, everywhere. This is abandoned. <laughs> Yo, this is an abandoned game room. So this seems like the only abandoned this seems like one of abandoned places. Okay. It used to be a game room. Hello? Just someone cleaning the place up. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this place is like half abandoned, you probably say. This is why I think we thought it was abandoned. Yeah. Because from the outside it looks like this every- Hey, what up? Hi guys. <laughs> what was that? Huh? No photo, no photo. No, no, no photo. What is this? Is it is this a hotel or a condo? Is it a condo? No. What is it? Hotel. Oh really? Seriously? Oh. Where you guys come from? New York. New York. Yeah, we just like we came here and we thought this place was abandoned. Yeah. Oh. You been to Thailand? Yeah, I have for thirty days. For thirty days. Yeah. That whole place was a prostitution place for Thai girls. But also, did you see the rat? I did not did see the rat. In the ceiling, there was a huge rat on the oh ceiling. Oh my god. It was a huge rat. 
we just had to go. We are like, hell no. But yeah, he was like, he was like, don't film, don't film. So I was like, okay. And he's like, these are girls if you're trying to look for a girl. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm good. Tiger, tiger. <laughs> yeah, wow. This place is so sketchy. Yeah. It's like so creepy. This part of the building is creepy. It's kind of haunted hotel, bizarre haunted hotel where everyone here is just crazy. Dude, I swear there's rats that crawl along the ceilings. Seriously. That's why this place got such bad reviews. Oh, listen. Something's, something's happening in there. Dude, no wonder this place has such bad reviews. This is like... There's mold. That's, is that black mold? No, it's spray paint. But there is mold over there. So right now... We're currently walking up the stairs instead of taking the elevator because the elevator seems really sketchy. Is this our floor? Yeah, let's, let's just get up here. Yep, this is our floor. Look at this. There's a gate out. What is this place? Please use your access code. No. We can't go in. So it looks like we're just taking the stairs. And it's the top floor. Look at these doors. What kind of person needs a gate over their door? in there. That is so creepy. Can you guys hear that one? Yeah, listen. Man, I wish I could get in there. It's like there's no way we're getting in there. And we're on the highest floor, but there's no stairs to get to the roof. So I don't think there's roof access, sadly. ways of Malaysia but I mean in America obviously this place would not be able to be not up and running I mean there was black mold all kinds of stuff everywhere it was like not only the prostitution but like the health code violations <laughs> like I guess we're just Americans but like it just seems crazy to me that we can experience this place it was like one of those creepy dirty hotels yeah dirty hotels dirty hotels yeah that's what I figured it was like Literally. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. yeah I think that's we have made it back to the apartment here after a very long drive back. 
we actually learned from our taxi driver that the place we just went to, a lot of people go to and actually unfortunately commit suicide. They jump off the roof and uh, a lot of them commit suicide because of gambling or financial reasons. So that place is kind of haunted and kind of creepy. A lot of the locals know that place as kind of like the suicide place, it's kind of sad. But um, that is it for today. I wanted to give a notification shout out to Patty Giddens. Thank you, Patty, for having my notifications on. If you want a notification shout out, just press that little bell button down below and comment uh, notification squad when you're done. That is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow.